Last month, I talked to you guys about a new ingredient called IOP, an ingredient optimization version of pea protein, which is more bioavailable than pea and similar to an actual whey protein isolate. Today, I'm going to talk to you about that same technology being applied to whey protein. Now, obviously, whey protein works great. I'm not here to knock whey protein or say there's some new version of whey protein, but part of what we're doing in supplements is always trying to find the next version of an ingredient or a way to use less of an ingredient and accomplish the same results. So what we're doing today is looking at a couple different uh, sets of data from studies on this plasma nutrition ingredient optimization technology being applied to whey protein. We've got a study on plasma amino acid elevation post uh, cons consumption. We've got a study on on uh, comparing a larger amount of normal whey protein versus this IO whey uh, and strength gains over time. We've got a comparison of the IO whey versus hydrolyzed whey protein, which I think is interesting because hydrolyzed whey protein is obviously a, a stab at the same idea of increasing the efficacy of whey protein with a uh, acid treatment. And then we've also got a comparison of uh, whey versus IO whey on things like body, uh, ma uh, body mass index, fat-free mass, uh, and percentage of body fat and strength and stomach discomfort. So also the effects of it over time. So let's start off from the beginning and let's talk about what happens when we take this IO whey versus a normal whey protein isolate and how it affects your plasma amino acids being the amino acids that are released into your body after you consume the product. So I'll put up uh, a kind of a, a video describing how this actually works. What IO whey actually does is it takes a complex structure of protein, which uh, usually your body can't use up all of it because of that complex structure, and it makes it a little bit easier for your body to absorb more of it, making it more bioavailable. Uh, the video is a little bit easier for people who may not understand protein structures to, un uh, to understand the whole thing. Uh, but what happens is when you compare IOA versus normal whey protein uh, post-consumption, the elevation of plasma amino acids is actually elevated over time. So, uh, and, and by the way, like I've said before, I usually use our blog post as an outline, a lot of uh, data for this. So if you see me glancing off the screen, I'm looking at our blog post. You can go over to blog.pricewell.com to find this article if you want to find the citations or more specifics on the data. I try to make these videos a little more digestible for people who don't want to read, you know, like a 20 page uh, write up. But some of this information is going to help out the video here. So uh, let's talk about EAAs, BCAAs, and leucine. EAAs, obviously, being the nine essential amino acids that contain BCAAs and leucine, were uh, significantly elevated greater than regular WPI at 30, 60, 90, and 120 minutes post-consumption. So the, what that means is post-eating the product, the levels of amino acids in the blood were higher at 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 90 minutes, and 120 minutes post-consumption. Obviously a great win there. Now BCAs were also significantly uh, greater at 30, 60, 90, 120 minutes. Not really surprising considering that BCAs are three of the nine essential amino acids that we're already seeing elevated. But one thing that was different here, which I found interesting, was only in the IO group was leucine elevated significantly at 90 and beyond. So 30 and 60, it was a very similar elevation, but 90 minutes and 120 minutes, leucine was still significantly greater than what the normal whey protein was showing. Basically, it was, it was close to baseline with the normal whey protein, whereas this product kept leucine elevated for longer. Now, I've discussed before in our amino acid videos that turning on muscle protein synthesis via BCAA consumption is kind of like turning on a light switch. It's either on or it's off. You really can't balance it in the middle, and adding any more force doesn't make the switch turn on anymore. So, what does this mean for, for the actual effects of the product? I can't 
sit here and tell you that 25 grams of both of these is going to it's going to make it more effective in the WPI IO but one thing that I did thought was interesting is they followed the study up um, with a study at the University of South Florida determining uh, the two different protein supplements uh, if you use less of the IOA if you could achieve the same amount of uh, in this case, strength gains, uh, than if you use 27 grams of normal whey protein. So what they uh, did was they took 32 resistance training male volunteers for a randomized double blind study. One of them got 27 grams of whey protein isolate, the normal whey protein isolate, and the other group got 20 grams of whey protein with the ingredient optimization technology. Now what's important to add here is they did add seven grams of maltodextrin alongside that to make the drinks similar in volume. Uh, so if you think that maltodextrin is some sort of great performance enhancer, maybe you'll say that this is biased or, or wrong or something. But point being that one had 27 grams of normal whey protein and the other ones had 20 grams of ingredient optimization whey. Now after eight weeks, they found that, uh, well, they tested uh, maximal strength with back squat, deadlift, and bench press. And what they found was even with the reduced uh, protein intake or the protein volume, they actually had very similar uh, gains in strength. Even with 25% less protein isolate, it was still as effective at, in uh, post-workout recovery and strength gain. Now you might be asking, well there's also hydrolyzed whey protein out there, doesn't that do a very similar thing? And that's all actually covered here too. Uh, researchers from the Applied Sciences and Performance Institute uh, actually examined postprandial plasma essential amino acid and BCA responses of hydrolyzed whey protein versus this IO way. And once again, we see a very similar graph. There's 48% more EAAs released into the plasma post consumption from the IO way than there is from hydrolyzed whey protein. So hydrolyzed whey protein has been seen as a uh, improved way for some time, but this actually outperforms that as well. So it's a, it's a similar concept, but better in practice. Now, one last study that we uh, cited in the blog, which I thought was interesting uh, and is a, a little bit... <clears throat> It's kind of similar to that eight week strength uh, study, but it included some other factors. Uh, was a study where they had the experimental group receiving 28 grams of IOA versus the control group receiving 28 grams of traditional whey protein. The things that they measured at the end of this eight week study here were body mass index, fat free mass, fat mass, percentage of body fat, strength, and stomach discomfort and digestion. And after eight weeks, the only ones they found that were different were they had significantly less stomach discomfort in the IO whey group, which is interesting because whey can bother some people due to lactose con uh, content. They did report better stomach digestion and uh, less discomfort, faster recovery, greater performance improvements in the squat and bench press, and a, a greater increase in fat-free mass, meaning that they added more mass. Now there wasn't a reduction in fat mass, there, there, there wasn't anything in terms of uh, fat loss, but we saw greater increases of fat free mass being muscle, and we also saw a faster recovery and greater increases in strength. So overall we're seeing that this technology can be applied to another pr uh, source of protein here. Uh, this could be a change for some people. We're starting to see a lot of proteins in the market like similar to uh, goat team, uh, now superhuman protein from Alpha Line. We're seeing uh, post from core where we're seeing protein proteins uh, bolstered up by extra technology, uh, added ingredients to help with recovery. And so I'm thinking that this IOA will fit really well into that category. I'd like to see a protein made for high level athletes using this kind of protein. There's two different ways that we could go with this. We could use it the full dose of whey protein using the IOA, saying that this will create more recovery, better recovery, or we can use it as uh, an excuse to use less whey protein and maybe have a, a lower cost, a easier way of flavoring or something like that. I'm excited to see where brands take this. It's still in a very infant stage of the ingredient, but uh, we do know that some high level manufacturers and some very innovative minds are getting into this technology and thinking about different ways to use it. So I'm excited to see where this goes. And, and that's really all this video is, just a, a review of data and presenting to you guys so you guys can be a little more familiar with it as it comes out. Uh, we, uh, we do have a business affiliate relationship with uh, IO, so I hope that you guys understand that. If you are looking to get it into your manufacturing facility, we can help you find that connection with them and get the technology 
onto your line because it is an actual piece of technology. They're not selling an actual ingredient, which is pretty different for this uh, industry and I'm excited about. If you do want to learn more, our blog post that I uh, was referencing for some of the data does have a very in-depth dive from Heather. She did an awesome job. There's a ton of citations at the bottom. She went really in-depth. I try to keep these videos a little bit more digestible for people to understand uh, if you're just a normal athlete that doesn't need to know tons of data, but want to know what this product will do for you in the future. So hoping to see this in some more products in 2021. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you guys appreciate it, if you learned something, leave a comment for me. I'd love to hear from you guys. I really appreciate you making this far in the video. Uh, and as always, guys, have a great day. Welcome to Price Plow.